As a public broadcaster, we had certain commitments to keep, and one of the best programs we had recently was almost by accident. And this was a Hindi serial made by an, um, made by a feminist group. This is called My Kuch Bhi Kar Sakti. I don't know how many of you have seen it, but we have tried to do it again and again. This was a striving of women to ensure their little space or their rightful space. And this came into a lot of stories. After we have made this call, Alta Puri Queen to Love So let me be clear. But I would take this opportunity to also say that I, I, I recall a small incident. Ten days ago, I wrote a scathing piece about the BBC film. It invited a lot of controversy. My submission was that you cannot um, sensationalize an event that is a landmark in India. India hides its head in shame. But the fact remains that the limit is only known when it is crossed. This struggle that begins right from the 8th century in India, whatever we say, it was only first acknowledgement was made only in the 8th century. In an appendix to one of our sacred texts, it is called, uh, um, it's, on, it's on the Devi, Devi Mahatma. An appendix to one of our 18 volumes of sacred literature, you have one appendix which talks about facing the woman in her rightful place. It has been a struggle. It will be a struggle. The fact that it is waiting with such brutality shows that we are coming to some sort of head-on. And this sort of head-on can't be tackled through a sensational reviewing to show that sort of plays upon it. But through little knots, little struggles, little battles that have to be won on a daily basis. Whether it be enforcement of one's space within public transport to the non-viability of one's body at any point of time under any pretext, we have been having these expressions coming out again and again. And this, far from being a matter of shame to me, of course it is a matter of shame, but more than a matter of shame to us, the fact that there is a growing sensitivity, a growing anger about it. No change can happen without anger. Now, this puts it in a perspective, and I would submit, I would propose to Alka and her friends that if they want this to be serialized, we are more than welcome. It's our job to do it, and I have the, my friend from um, the Secretary of Woman and Child. He looks, uh, he's much younger than me. He just looks on the back. <laughs> so you'll say, I'm sure he'll support, and Mike has always been a supportive figure. We have been friends where not everything was friendly. <laughs> so having said that, I would lend my support to this. And I would end with a little joke as to why I love picture books. Make this is for you. This is from Dennis the Menace. And, and Joey asked him, Hey Dennis, what are these sprawly things? He looks at the comics and said, Oh, they're called letters. What are letters for? Letters are meant for people who can't read pictures. <laughs> so, having said that, a picture book makes much more sense because remember, billions of years before mankind learned how to make a text, how to make an alphabet, how to string them together, how to even invent the vowels and so on. He was crawling, she was crawling, her image, her expression, her rights, her privileges on to the walls of the that comes millions of years before the written word appears. So I would congratulate both Shashi and Vic for this wonderful effort and um, for Alka for putting me in the Thank you. It will be lovely. I confess in open that there are occasions when males practice patriarchy without even understanding. Let me give you one small example. This is this is patriarchy. I hold your no, 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 no,
I remember for 40 years ago when I got to the field, so see a woman taking long trudging walks to go to the village well. And I thought I'd done a very smart thing by bringing tap water near the house. You know what I had done? So only when I paid a second visit after a year, I found that I'd broken the only institution of solidarity they had in the name of development. Now we need to understand the sensitivities far beyond economics and development. There is a text, there is a subtext, and there are little contexts. All of these have to be drilled into people who think they are doing a good job, but actually strengthening the pillars of India. So it goes on that way. I'll get more lessons once I go home. <laughs>